Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, and you guys know what that means. Unreal Engine developers, it is time for you to get free stuff. It's time for Unreal Christmas in November, and this month, no exception. What you're looking at right now, this is the new addition to the permanently free collection. As the name would imply, uh, you have as long as you want to go ahead and grab this one. It is the low-poly style deluxe 2 tropical environment. So again, added to the uh, permanently free collection, so there is no expiration on this one. For all the other assets we're going to talk about, today, you need to air quotes purchase them uh, by uh, the first Tuesday of uh, December, but once you have done so, they are yours to keep forever. So you get an idea of the kind of assets that are here. You get a number of different uh, props and such to go in the environment. So for example, we have uh, prefab rocks ready to go, some pirate ships, flotsam and jetsam. Uh, we got a bunch of trees and so on. Of course, we got that lava going on in the background. As you saw, we've got an animated waterfall effect as well. You see it right there. And if I kid up here, you'll go over here. You're going to see we've actually got some uh, water and some skyboxes going on as well. So if you're looking to create a low poly environment uh, and you want some tropical settings, this guy has you covered. Now, we've actually had a couple in the low poly uh, category, I think, added to the permanently free. So finding things to match your overall art style shouldn't be too overwhelmingly difficult. All right. So that is the new addition to the permanently free collection. So now in the free for the month category, the first one we have here is clothing and shoe stores. So what you're getting basically is a shopping mall. So it's all the assets you need to create a shopping mall that is extensively or exclusively full of uh, shoe stores. So certain people that would be hell, other people that would be heaven. Now I don't know why their shoe store here contains a whole lot of uh, hats and shirts and such. So a uh, bit of a misnomer there, but basically everything you see here, all the stuff you need to create this environment is available in this asset. Uh, it's fairly realistic um, in terms of the modeling level, a little bit on the slightly cartoony style, I'd say, but you should be able to mesh this into uh, just about any kind of environment if you want. So if you wanted to create sort of a Dead Rising type game, it uh, could be a good pickup for you, uh, but a pretty straightforward one here. This is the uh, low poly, no, sorry, the, the clothing and shoe stores asset. And here is all of the assets that go together to create it. So everything here obviously is modular, uh, can be used together. So um, even though it's called shoe store, basically it's a, a shopping mall kit in essence. And then we got a lot of... Um, you know, props to fill out those things as well. More props, more props, and so on. So if you're trying to recreate a retail or a shopping style area, that is what this asset is all about. Pretty straightforward on the whole. We also got a little bit of an animated water fountain effect going on, uh, which is always nice. All right, so that is asset number one from the uh, free for the month. Next up, we have animated rain, water drop material, and effects. This one is for, you can see the water on the camera and on the surface, although I got a weird artifacting going on. Uh, this is a special effect for basically making materials look wet and rained upon. Uh, so again, we got a combination of the camera having it done. You can see here on the floor, oops, went through the floor. Also have some weird bloom effect going on. So you can see how uh, the various different things in the world are, are slowly getting wet from it. That is what this one is all about. So it's for adding that, uh, here we'll look at this table as an example. This effect, this water and rain hit effects is exactly what this one does. Pretty straightforward uh, asset there. Next, we have probably what is my favorite asset of this month's collection. It's the physical interaction system. And this is uh, basically a way to add any kind of interactions into your world. So for example, if you have this safe here uh, with the mouse down, I can click on the mouse surface here. Actually, I'll go ahead and run it so you can see it in action. So it gives you the ability to define a variety of different interactions. So here you can see I can click this guy and we can pivot and turn it. Same thing here is I can go over to this combination dial and we can orbit it around. Over here we have a chest. I can grab the lid and flip it open. And then inside the chest, we have a box that I could have pulled out. Uh, over here, you've got different options for uh, switching between the, the operation modes. So there is grip accurate, and then I hit shift, grip hard, and then shift again, switch between accurate and hard. So you got this interaction system for handling various different objects in the scene. Here you can see here, we've got a window system. So I can come here and I can slide the window down like so. And I think it'll slowly open back up. Yep. So it's for creating these kind of interactions you'd like to see in the world. We've got a, a bunch of them in action here. So we got a tourney wheel. You can see right there. 
We got uh, like a shifting knob, you can see right here. And then push button, you can see it in action there. So if you need to add interaction to your world, that is what this guy is all about. Now let me just go ahead and try and get into the debug room. Cause you gotta open the door and then push and then run in before it closes. All right, push, go, go, go. All right, now uh, I'm in. Okay, so here you can see kind of, um, it's just a debug room where you can see the various different things that you can handle and how they evaluate. So example, I have the shift knob and then as I'm doing it, it is running off the event tick action. So it's for adding uh, interactions into your world. So if you need to, to move things around, get the ability to uh, pick up and move a chair, for example, you can do so. You wanna have the ability to open chests or grab things from chests or have dials. Uh, it's, it's just a kind of a universal kit and it's very cool in my humble opinion. And then finally, we have Loft Office Modular, everything you need to create an office style environment from you know a hipster loft approach, all the various different assets you see to go ahead and create this one and navigate around, take a look at the stuff that's in here. Uh, this is uh, one of three example environments they have set up. So it, it's pretty straightforward. A bunch of assets you need to create an office environment type place. Let me just go ahead and, oops, wrong space. Uh, you can see here, these are the various different assets that go together to make up this modular environment right here. And we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at one of the other offices or other areas of this office. We've got this cabinet area. Um, again, it's just kind of another configuration of what you can do with it. And then of course we also had the kitchen area. So if you need to create a modern lofty style office, it's a modular kit for creating this sort of environment. Nothing. Uh, too extreme going on in that one. And you may have noticed that we're at the end of the hands-on demonstration. There is one asset missing, and that is something called the universal camera. Now, that reason I'm not really demonstrating that one is it is actually implemented as a plugin. So uh, it, it's an ex extended camera. We'll get back to that in just a sec when I do the recap. All right, so recap time. Permanently free edition. We have the low poly style deluxe two tropical environment. Again, pretty straightforward. It's a low polygon tropical environment, as the name suggests. Uh, there are a couple of these low poly ones in the permanently free collection. So uh, if you need to mesh your art styles together, you should be good to go. Next up, this is the one I was talking about that I didn't cover. This is Universal Camera. It is a flexible camera for your games. It is implemented as a plugin. It will work with 4.x and 5.0 versions, by the way. So it's a flexible camera that can be used in a wide variety of games, architectural visualizations, move around, rotate, edge scroll, screen slide, mouse drag, follow an actor, use the async traveling tasks, and so on. So if you need to have uh, an extended camera system, this one is what it's all about. And I do find that their demo links you off to like a OneNote, or sorry, a OneDrive site. So does the documentation, which is a bit disappointing, but you can see the features of this camera in general. Again, this one installs as an engine plugin, so it's not really easy for me to demonstrate. And I'm not going to just download a random file off someone's OneDrive. So I didn't check out the demo side of it. So that's why this one wasn't demonstrated as part of this uh, rundown. But this is the fifth asset in the free for the month category. The other stuff we again had were the clothing and shoe stores, which is a little misleading because there's also, I guess, clothing and no, it's not misleading. It's exactly what it said on the tin. Uh, pretty straightforward. You need to create a shopping mall type environment. This is a bunch of props for doing exactly that. We have the animated rain, water drop and material effects. Uh, so you can sort of see the, what it does to the uh, environments as materials. It's implemented as a set of materials. So it's got translucent material, um, material overlay function using blueprints, material overlay volume, and then camera post processing effects uh, all work together to create basically rain in your environment. And then we've got the loft modular uh, for creating a, a loft style environment. Uh, we got the physical interaction system for you know implementing uh, things that move in your world. Really, really useful if you're doing like hands-on VR work and you want to have an interactive environment, but for doing things like doors, chest, windows, and so on. Uh, probably again the one that I find most interesting out of this collection, and that is it. So if you want to go ahead and check these out, they're available in the Unreal Engine marketplace. Basically, just go to free and then free for the month. Make sure you add them to your cart and check out before it's all done. And then on top of that, you have the permanently free collection. Uh, so again, there's a number of them in here that are stylized or low poly that should work together. And there is a ton of stuff in here as well. So we've got 101 results in the permanently free collection. And then the free for the month one obviously keeps growing. But if you hoard these things, even if you're not an Unreal Engine user now, you may be in the future. And all of these could come in useful. Now, this isn't quite live yet, so I, I can't 
show you these are last month's stuff. Uh, but again, you will have until the first Tuesday uh, in December to buy these air quotes around buy. You don't need a credit card or anything like that. You just need to uh, create an account, add them to your account, check out, and then they are yours forever. Uh, once you have done so, they will be part of the um, Epic's Games Launcher. You go to your library. And to give you an idea of just how much stuff they've given away over time, here is my current library. By the way, of all of these things, the physics interaction system... Um, Fizz, let's go to P. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, it is the only one that actually creates as a project. Everything else you can add to your project. So where is Fizz? There we go. So if you want to check out the physical interaction system, do be aware. Uh, you have to start by creating a project out of it. Uh, all the rest are just straightforward add to project type implementations. So that was it, ladies and gentlemen. This month's free stuff. What do you think of Epic Games offerings for uh, November Unreal Engine developers? Uh, let me know which one you liked best. Comments down below, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.